everybody. A lot of y'all have asked, how do I green screen during a web conference? So whether you're using GoToMeeting, Uber Conference, WebEx, etc., this is something that'll probably work well for you. Hey everybody, welcome to the uh, software portion of this. So you can see here I've got a, a light over there and a light over there. And you can expand this video's description and then click the link there to find where to order those lights online. They're actually very affordable. I've also listed a green screen kit in case you're not in a place where you could paint a wall. My wall's painted, uh, but you can get a, a nice piece of fabric that's got a frame if you want to do that. Otherwise, just use a, uh, a bright green or bright blue sheet and just make sure it's tight. You don't want it flapping around. So we're going to jump right in here. One thing you may want to do is better illuminate your face. There's a few ways to do that. Uh, one way is to use something like this. And, and again, all of this is linked within this video's description. And you can light your face with that. Or you could use these. These are USB rechargeable. Um, they're very bright. And they can illuminate the subject's face. Because you want to make sure your face is lit but you also want to make sure that your, uh, that your backdrop is lit. So those, those lights are pretty much lighting the backdrop. I've also got a light in front of me, and I've got this one. But to do it on a budget, check the link within this video's description. These little things right here are great, these little uh, lights. So let's hop in now and do the configuration of Wirecast. So Wirecast, and, and again, you can also find it linked within this video's description, Wirecast is a tool that's going to connect to my webcam and then also my microphone. Now, most webcams have an integrated microphone, and that may be more than acceptable. I like broadcast quality, so I'm using this microphone. Again, all this equipment I've linked within this video's description. So within Wirecast, all that you do is select Output, Virtual Camera Out, and make sure that 720p is selected. If you try to do 1080, a lot of the web conferencing software will not allow that. You'll get a blank screen. I found that at least with GoToMeeting, that 720p is a setting that I'd use. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add, within Wirecast, we're going to add our camera and our microphone. So in your case, you may just be using the microphone that's built into your camera or built into your computer or you may be using the camera that's built into your computer for that matter. So we're going to click the plus sign here to add the camera. We do video capture. Now I've got two options. I've got the FaceTime, which is built into my laptop, where I've got the Logitech Brio, which is this higher end camera. So I'm going to select the Brio. I'm going to do add. And see, now you can see me here. You're going to want to frame yourself so that, uh, you know, you want, you want to fill the screen as much as possible. Now, uh, one thing you also want to do is be aware of shadows. Obviously, there's a slight shadow right there if you look real closely. Shadows that aren't too bad shouldn't be a problem. You can adjust the brightness of your, of your light in front of you or your, uh, you know, if you're using these little USB lights, you can adjust the brightness of them. See, when I turned it up too bright, you can see I've got a big shadow there. So just kind of play with your environment, you know, just an ample amount of lighting so that you're lit but you're not lit so much that it's creating shadows on your green screen backdrop. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click our video here, the little gear icon, and we're going to do change audio. So in my situation, I'm going to select the Rode, which is this professional quality microphone. Now you can see here my audio levels are jumping. The Rode is picking up the audio. So I've got the camera for video, and I've got the Rode microphone for audio. So now what we want to do is do the chroma keying. So up here at the top, chroma keying by the way is a, is a technically correct way of saying green screening. So to do the green screening, we're going to go up to the top here and we're going to go to the, to the layers. Right now you can see there's two layers. There's the video camera, which is me in front of the green wall, and then there's also the audio source, which is this microphone. What we're going to do is click the plus sign and we're going to add a new media file. So you'll do add <clears throat> media file. This could be a video. This could be a, uh, uh, 
a, a still photo. So we're gonna what we're gonna do is add uh, we're gonna add both here. So I'm gonna do let's see the first one. Let's just make like a nice uh, nice looking lobby. So I've got a still photo here. And this is a still photo that I captured at the uh, Waldorf Astoria in New York. So this is a photo that I took. What you're going to want to do is drag it down underneath your green part. Now this is where it's going to get fun. So we've got the still photo, but let's say we want to mix it up. Maybe you don't want to use a still photo, you want to use a video. And this is completely optional, but I'm going to add a, uh, I'm going to add a video in here as well. So here's a uh, here's one right here's a mountain backdrop. This is a this is a video that I that I captured in British Columbia. So now what we want to do is select highlight our green screen camera, which is in my case the Logitech Brio. Then we're going to select the person head icon, and then we're going to select use chroma key, and then pick color. And see, look at that. So how convincing is that? So then when I uncheck use chroma key, you can see, you see the green wall. But if I check use chroma key, you can see now we've got the, and, and this won't be, by the way, this won't be full motion video until you hit, uh, even though this is a video, until you hit the little arrow. And see, now you can see the, the little, uh, you can see the little droplets of water and everything there because now it's a, it's a video clip. So this, once you hit that arrow right here, what you see over here is the live view, what your, what your viewers would, uh, would see. So I'm gonna, gonna go back to this. Uh, what you may wanna do, and I'll show you if, if you're keying, especially look at your hair to see, see it's kind of flashing. This, depending upon your lighting, this may not be perfect, but if you kind of move your head around and look, you can do the key threshold and you can drag it. See, if you drag it too much, it gets really, your head gets a lot of holes in it. But what you wanna do is get it to where it looks pretty crisp, which I think right there, that 11 looks good. You can see when I hold my hands up that, you know, you still see the background there. This is a, this is a highly convincing green screen effect. So let's say you didn't wanna use the video clip but you wanted to use your, uh, your, your photo, in my case, the Waldorf Astoria. So what I could do to make this easy, and again, this right here shows what your viewers are seeing, attendees of your meeting are seeing. So what you can do is have multiple ones up, remembering that the one directly below your, your chroma key camera is the one that's gonna be active first, but watch what happens if I hit the eye. So see now, I've got, uh, I'm in the Waldorf Astoria, see? I'm in the lobby of the Waldorf Astoria. So what I can do, since I've unchecked the eye, if I want, and again, your viewers are still seeing British Columbia video, but if you hit the arrow again, then it'll switch to the Waldorf Astoria lobby. Uh, and and it's, uh, it's, it's pretty cool, you can use you know, it's, it's up to uh, your own creativity. If you want to create an image file that's 1920 by 1080 in resolution, 192 C, 1920 by 1080, you can use that. It could be a logo if you wanted to use a company's logo in the background. You know, whatever you want to do. But again, a black colored shirt or a, or a red or something that's not blue or green is going to work best. I'm wearing a red shirt. You can see this keying effect is uh, highly convincing. So that is how to set up the chroma key. And again, once you've got it set up, you'll just want to file and save so you've got that available for use the next time. You don't want to have to deal with this every time. But um, if you do want to change up your backdrops, just open your, your save project that you've already set for your, for your room, you know, your lighting and everything, and then just go in and hit the plus sign and add as many videos or, uh, or uh, still photos as you want to to function as backdrops. You can get really fancy with it and do multiple layers if you use PNG files, but that's a topic for another video, and that'll be my advanced how to chroma key 
how to green screen with a web conference video. So check that out. I've linked it within this video's description too. So what we're going to do now is, okay, so if we're going to go live, and this, would, this could be GoToMeeting, this could be Uber Conference, this could be WebEx, whatever web conferencing software you use, before you go live with your web conferencing software, all that you want to do, once you've got all this up, and once again, don't forget to click that right arrow, because if you don't, if you don't see yourself green screened here, when you connect to that web conference, people are not going to see you green screened at all. So what you want to do after you've got all this set up is go to the top and do output. And after selecting output, go to virtual camera out. Again, make sure that it's HD 720, at least from my experience at the time of posting this video. I haven't found uh, web conferences that will accept 1920 by 1080. That may have changed. But use 720 to be safe. And then all you got to do after you've selected 720 is click start. And then once you've clicked start, now what you can do is open your GoToMeeting, WebEx, Uber Conference, whatever meeting software you may use. And when you go into that meeting software, and I'm not going to go through this because it's pretty much self-explanatory. When you go through the meeting software setup and you select your webcam, you'll just choose this virtual webcam because it'll show up since after you've hit, uh, after you've hit output, virtual camera, and start, as long as that is still started, again, keep Wirecast open, minimize Wirecast, and open your web conferencing software, and you'll be able to choose your Wirecast camera within the web conferencing software, and what you see within Wirecast is what the attendees of your meeting will see. So I hope this video provided value. If you have any questions, please comment below, and I'll do my best to answer. And again, just to recap, what's most important don't wear colors that blend with your green or blue backdrop. Make sure your backdrop is very well lit. Make sure your backdrop doesn't have shadows. Make sure that you are also well lit. And, uh, you know, eliminate any sort of background noise to the best of your abilities. And see what your, uh, <laughs> see what your colleagues think when they see that really nice backdrop. Hey y'all, I Rick Sky here. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe like and share it's viewers like you that enable my channel to continue to grow thank you